So we're here today in the mixed grassland ecoregion in the southwest part of the province. We're just a little ways north of the town of Kyle. Uh, we're standing in the middle of a chem fallow field, uh, which was previously under, under wheat last year. And in terms of the overall climate of this region, the, the mixed grassland ecoregion is characterized by a fairly, a fairly dry climate, about uh, 300 to anywhere between 300 and 400 millimeters of precipitation per year. But it, as you can see, there's, there's not a lot of trees around here and the wind gets blowing across here. So a lot of that precipitation is lost to evapotranspiration. So it's a relatively uh, dry region. We'd be in the, in, the, in the brown soil zone in terms of the, the soil climatic zones. So in terms of the, the native vegetation, normally there would be, uh, if, if this were a native uh, field, there would be a, a variety of, of shorter grass species, but it would be still, it would be a, a wide open prairie, prairie ecosystem. Now in terms of the parent material, you know, one of the first things that's going to strike you when you look at this particular landscape is this is sort of the quintessential uh, prairie landscape that everyone imagines when they think about the prairies, incredibly flat. Uh, this is, uh, so this is, gives us our first big clue in terms of what the parent material would be of this particular area that we're standing in. Basically, we're standing at the bottom of what was once a large glacial lake. So this would be a, a, a great example of a glacial lacustrine parent material. So what that means is that at one point, as the glacier was retreating, there was a, a large body of meltwater uh, basically blocked by the by the glacier and by some of the uh, uplands that we see around here. So we're in the broad, flat lake bottom, and still water as the as the sediments that are that are present in still water settle out. The coarser material settles out first, with the finest material settling out last. And so we end up with this fairly uh, uniformly fine parent material. And it's that fine texture of the parent material. In this case, we've got a very heavy clay parent material uh, associated with these glacial lacustrine sediments. It's the, the nature of that particular parent material that's uh, going to give rise to the, the unique characteristics of the soil that we're going to be looking at today.